I was working like around the clock, just messaging, emailing as many influencers as I possibly could. Basically the criteria was, you know, being US based, having anywhere from 50 to 250,000 followers. So more of the micro guys, don't have to pay them as much. Trying to find a couple based influencers. We tried to work with as many as we possibly could. We landed out with like about, I would say about like 20 to 30 in the pipeline. Um, and so for the first week, we just had, you know, these influencer posts going out sporadically and we'd see the posts would go up, revenue would spike. And then as soon as like, you know, things started to chill off, revenue would be back at zero. And then the next day, we would have an influencer go up, revenue would hit you know, a couple hundred bucks, maybe a couple thousand bucks on a good one, and then right back, the uh, the revenue would drop down to zero. I saw that you were like, looking for guests, I was like, fuck, I'd be honored. Uh, uh, thanks, that. bro. Yeah, no, I'm super happy to have you. I mean, I have so much, like, you know, everybody knows about TAP, so, like, I told, for example, somebody on my team, I was like, yeah, I'm a, I was on a meeting, I was like, yeah, I gotta interview this guy. He's like, no way, like, that guy's a genius, <laughs> like, he was super God. hyped. <laughs> swear oh, to God, God, bro, swear to God. <laughs> It was pretty funny. Uh, so we got a lot to go through today. I mean, obviously, it's going to be just a chill conversation, though. It's nothing crazy. But I'm going to try to ask you some really cool stuff that I have in mind. Um, you know, we're just going to get right into it, though, if you don't mind. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, cool. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, Oliver, welcome. And, you know, a lot of people, like I just said, know you from Tab, so you're pretty well known in this space already. So you don't need a huge introduction, but if you wouldn't mind just giving us like, you know, what you're up to right now, like, I guess what would be your, your introduction message? <laughs> Oh man, um, so I definitely got my hands full at the moment. Uh, tabs is like my main focus, my main priority. Mm. Um, and then on the side, I started a little spin off agency, leveraging a lot of the mechanisms and systems that I built out for Tabs and kind of bringing it to other companies, working with G Fuel, uh, talking to Budweiser, Orange Theory. Damn. Um, or kind of like smaller, mid sized e com brands as well. So got that going on on the side. And then um, I'm also launching a Shopify app in the super early stages there, just kind of working on the design and the logo right now. I think it's going to be probably like eight months out. Um, but yeah, I got my hands on a couple of different Damn. projects and keeps me interested and excited. And okay, I'm that's awesome. Well, I'm glad I asked because that gives me a lot of stuff to potentially ask you about because I, I didn't know you were involved in all that. I knew about your agency and tabs, but I did not yeah. know about this SaaS project. That's amazing. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I, I, let's just begin with tabs just because I know that, again, that's what a lot of people know you from and kind of the big success. I'm really curious right off the bat, I want to know, because I, I work with some people that have adult products, like what were some of the initial obstacles, bro? Like what, what, how did you guys get the first boost in brand revenue, I guess? Yeah, that's a great question. It was, it was very scary, um, you know, in the start, because right off the bat, we were like banned off Facebook uh, right. ads, we banned off TikTok ads, banned off Google ads, banned off Snapchat ads. And so we were kind of like, fuck, like, what do we do? Like, where do we go with this? Um, and so we we're kind of forced to explore alternative channels and, and means. Um, now, granted, we kind of had TikTok in mind when we first launched tabs. And so we knew that we could like make some sort of push with influencers, mm -hmm. but you know, at the end of the day, it's like, how scalable can that really be? How, how much longevity is there really in that channel? Um, and so that was kind of like a question that was haunting us quite a bit in the early days. Mm -hmm. um, in our first week, or actually I would say the weeks like leading like prior to tabs launch, I was working like around the clock, just messaging, um, DMing, uh, texting, of creator marketplace, TikTok creator marketplace, emailing as many influencers as I possibly could. Uh, basically, the criteria was, you know, being US based, having anywhere from 50 to 250,000 followers. So more of the micro guys don't have to pay them as much. Um, and trying to find couple based uh, influencers. Mm. Um, and we, just, you know, we tried to work with as many as we possibly could. Uh, we landed out with like about, I would say about like 20 to 30 in the pipeline. Um, and so for the first week, we just had, you know, these influencer posts going out sporadically and we'd see the posts would go up, revenue would spike. And then as soon as like, you know, things start to chill off, revenue would be back at zero. And then the next day we would have an influencer go up, revenue would hit, you know, a couple hundred bucks, maybe a couple thousand bucks on a good one. And then right back, you know, the, uh, the revenue would drop down to zero. And so we, it was, it was, it was, it was definitely a good sign early on, but at the same time it was like, okay, this is cool. But like, how do we create some sort of like baseline? How do we make sure that we're building numbers day in, day out the same way, you know, we would if we had, uh, you know, paid ads running. 
Um, and so that took quite a bit of time, which I'm happy to talk about. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the early days of taps. Interesting. Yeah, that, that actually, because I was going to ask you something related to this since I know more or less how you guys are marketing. I'm really curious because I mean, obviously attribution is really tough probably when you're working with like 20, 30, 50 influencers.